Okay, so Friday the 19th of May, we're starting the session with the EMOM 5 of Clean and Jerks at 9 out of 10 RP. So what we're looking for here is that you spend a good amount of time warming up to a weight that feels um, heavy and challenging, but that you're going to hit that same weight for all five minutes. So this is not a building five minutes. We're not building to a 9 out of 10 single for the day. The five minutes themselves is what is nine out of 10. So that one rep on its own should not be a super hard effort, but when you try and do it five minutes in a row, that is what it's gonna make it really challenging. Next week, we're gonna to build to a heavy single clean and jerk. So save the heavy single for next week. So I gave as an example here, um, if you have a max clean and jerk of 120, then five reps at around 90% of that would be 180 kilos. So if you can hit somewhere around that 108, maybe just a little bit more or a little bit less, depending on how you're feeling today, that would be really solid to hit for five reps EMOM. You'll move on to some front and back squats. That's an optional piece, so only include that if you have, you know you have 90 plus minutes in your session, so you have time to rest in between all of these pieces. And if not, you're gonna move straight on to today's leaderboard workout. So that is 21, 15, 15, 9 of thrusters at 43 kilos for guys and 30 kilos for the girls and bar facing burpees. So a really simple couplet. I'm sure, I'm sure people will have done this before as a 21, 15, 9. We've added in the additional 15 in the middle. That is the make or break round all the time, that 15. So see if you can repeat and add that extra volume and still keep the pace of the thrusters and the burpees. So this one is going to be a really good challenge to be able to push the pace um, and you should be feeling pretty uh, smashed after this one. Take a bit of a rest and then you're gonna hit the gymnastic strength. We have the, um, the leaning plank holds. You've got some demo videos there, so a little bit different stuff to practice today. The forward roll from support, we're gonna look at some different skills on the rings. And then we're gonna finish with some traditional kipping chest bar pull-ups to work on that tight kip position because that will carry over to your butterflies um, in a different way that it doesn't really work the other way around butterflies don't really have a carryover to traditional kipping and I feel like the way the programming is going right now I could definitely see program organizers saying it has to be a traditional gymnastic kip and not just a butterfly um, so it's good to still have those skills because I think a lot of people will find that surprisingly challenging 